Hello and welcome to Theology on Tap. And you know that Christians are a bunch of hypocrites, right? We are hypocrites. But I don't think it's such a bad thing to be called a hypocrite. But I do have a way to solve that problem. You see, we're called hypocrites because of what we believe in. You see, Christians have values. And we put our values and we set them up so high because it's God's values that we just can't live up to it. So because of that reason, we are called hypocrites. For example, there are a lot of people who believe that smoking cigarettes is sin because we are destroying the temple of God. But then at the same time, some people are addicted to cigarettes. So therefore, you could preach to other people about how cigarettes are wrong or drinking alcohol is wrong. But, it, but then we actually end up smoking or drinking, then we're called hypocrites. I know there are a lot of people, in my, in my experience, there are a lot of people who do not smoke or drink at church and they would think that it is the wrong thing to do, but they would smoke or drink after church and somehow they think that's okay. You see, that's hypocrisy. There are people that believe abortion is wrong. A lot of Christians believe that. People who believe homosexuality is wrong. But there have been people who are so against homosexuality who turned out to be gay themselves. That could be called hypocrisy. But it's not, we're not called hypo hypocrites because of the evil that we do. Because Christianity, in my opinion, is probably the best religion in the world. We have organizations, we create organizations such as uh, Salvation Army, who go around the world trying to help those who cannot help themselves. We teach people to uh, learn to read. Uh, we feed those who are hungry. Uh, Christian doctors go and work for free, helping others to get well. I mean, there, there's even a, a ministry that will go and adopt children, that they will go adopt babies that nobody wants. I mean, who could do that unless they have set their values so high that they want to please God so much that they're going to do something that they really would not do if they did not have faith in God. See, that's great. Now, why would anybody complain about that? And not many people do. So in many ways, Christianity should be praised rather than criticized. But I do understand that the secular world, the people who are not Christians, ha do have problems with Christianity. When there are preachers that come out and condemn homosexuals or condemn, condemn those who have abortions, that primary goal for Christian is to just condemn people or judge other people. But most Christians will agree that's not the goal of Christianity. The goal of Christianity is to follow God and to live that kind of a life that glorifies God rather than ourselves. And I think that's a, that's a good thing, not a bad thing. But however, since we're just flesh and blood, a lot of times we just can't live up to the standard that we have set up for ourselves to be like God, to live like Christ would, would do. So, so if we get criticized for being a hypocrite, personally, it doesn't bother me that much. It's not like Christianity promotes evil, that we're not promoting people to do things that is against the law. We're not promoting things that, that would cause harm to other people. So in a way, being called a hypocrite is not a bad thing at all. I mean, it's, if it's the worst thing that we as Christians can do is to be called a hypocrite, that's fine, I'll take that. However, having said that, but I think I could fix the problem of being a hypocrite if you're a Christian. And the answer is very clear. It's Jesus and Him crucified. Now, what I mean by that is, even as Christians, we follow God the way the Jews did 2,000 years ago by following rules and regulations. That we have set rules or law for ourselves to follow. How to live a, a, a spiritual life. But actually what we're doing is we're setting up people to fail because a lot of time these laws are impossible to follow as a human being. Like, for example, if you believe that drinking is wrong, man, that's how difficult can that be? So I think I could 
fix this idea of being called a hypocrite by saying let's stop following rules and law and, and the regulations, but let's just, just have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Let's just have relationship with God. It's a personal thing, right? So if I believe in God and I have certain kind of belief, I'm just gonna follow that the best way I can. I'm not gonna brag about it. I'm not gonna tell other people to exactly do what I do, but I'm just gonna tell people what I believe, but I'm just gonna live that life, but I will not judge other people who do not live their life the way I do. So if you don't believe that, that drinking is good, or drink, if you do believe that drinking is a sin, then don't drink. But don't judge me or other people who do. If you believe that, that smoking is bad, don't smoke. If you believe homosexuality is sin, then don't be a homosexual. I mean, it's simple as that. But stop judging other people by what you believe. Okay? And I think that would fix everything, in my opinion. But I do understand why we want to set rules because the world can be evil and there's a lot of evil things that's going on in the world. And a lot of times we think we got to get a handle on it. So we try to fix it. We try to force people to understand the goodness of God and have other people follow what we believe in. But a lot of times when we force people to do certain things, it just doesn't work. So the more man, humans get involved trying to fix the world, it doesn't work. Right? A lot of times it actually makes things worse. What God is saying is, have faith. Live your life the way that you believe is the right way to live, in your relationship with God, to walk in that path of righteousness, and that is it. I mean, there's only a few people in the world that could really influence, which is just your family and people that are closer to you, and that's about it. But live that life in, in, in the path of righteousness, and hopefully and that you would, we would have the faith to believe that God would take care of the rest. So we don't have to force it. We just have to believe but do you believe that all things will work out for good, as the Bible says? Do you believe that all things from heaven and earth, everything from heavens and earth, will come together in Christ? I believe that. It's going to happen. So, so then we just have to have faith in that so that we don't have to go on judging other people or condemning other people to hell and other nonsense where other people would feel the eight people who do not believe in Jesus would judge us Right? and call us a bunch of hypocrites. Because if you go by rules and regulations and you tell other people about what it means to live like a Christian, like Jesus, and we can't live like it, then we, we are hypocrites. But once again, it's not that bad. If it's the worst thing that we as Christians can be is a hypocrite, thank God, that's, I think that's great. At least we're not murderers, at least we don't promote evil in the world. We don't blow ourselves up and, and murder other people. I mean, I think, I think it's good that the worst thing we can be is a hypocrite. But at the same time, I would say we could fix that as well. Let's fix that. Just have faith. Believe in God. Have relationship with Jesus. Live a life. And hopefully, God will take care of the rest, which He will. God bless you. Thanks for joining in. Keep, keep coming back and subscribe and tell your friends, please. I got so much more to share with you. God bless you.